The Kingdom of Benin began in the 900s when the Edo people settled in the rainforests of West Africa. By the 1400s they had created a wealthy kingdom with a powerful ruler, known as the Oba. The Obas lived in beautiful palaces decorated with shining brass. Gradually, the Obas won more land and built up an empire. They also started trading with merchants from Europe. For 200 years Benin was very successful, but in the 1600s the Obas started to lose control of their people. By the 1800s Benin was no longer strong or united. The kingdom came to a sudden end in 1897, when a British army invaded and made it part of the British Empire. How did the kingdom begin? Around the year 900 groups of Edo people began to cut down trees and make clearings in the rainforest. At first they lived in small family groups, but gradually these groups developed into a kingdom. The kingdom was called Ogiso Igudo. It was ruled by a series of kings, known as Ogiso, which means rulers of the sky. In the 1100s there were struggles for power and the Oso control of their kingdom. The Edo people feared that their country would fall into chaos, so they asked their neighbor, the king of Ife, for help. The king sent his son Prince Oranmian to restore peace to the Edo kingdom. Oranmian chose his son Awaka to be the first Oba of Benin. Awaka was the first in a long line of Obas, who reached the peak of their power in the 1500s. How did Benin become an empire? Around 1440, Iware became the new Oba of Benin. He built up an army and started winning land. He also rebuilt Benin city and the royal palace. Oba Iware was the first of five great warrior kings. His son Oba Azalua was believed to have won 200 battles. He was followed by Oba Isaji who expanded his kingdom eastwards to form an empire and won land from the king Ife. Azalua and Isaji both encouraged trade with the Portuguese. They used their wealth from trade to build up a vast army. The fourth warrior was Oba Orhagbua. During his reign, the empire reached its largest size. It stretched beyond the river Niger in the east and extended west as far as present-day Ghana. Oba Ihangbuda was the last of the warrior kings. But he spent most of his reign stopping rebellions led by local chiefs. After his death in 1601, Benin's empire gradually shrank in size. How did the kingdom end? By the 1800s the kingdom of Benin began to lose power and the Obas struggled to rule their people. Benin was also under threat from Britain. The British wanted to gain control of Benin so they could get rich by selling its palm oil and rubber. The Oba tried to stop all contact with Britain, but the British insisted on their right to trade. In 1897 a group of British officials tried to visit Benin. They were sent away because the Oba was busy with a religious ceremony, but they decided to visit anyway. As they approached the borders of Benin, a group of warriors drove them back and several Britain were killed. This attack made the British furious. They sent over a thousand soldiers to invade Benin. Benin city was burnt to the ground and the Kingdom of Benin became part of the British Empire. 